Hello, welcome back to Vlogmas. It's day seven. How is it day seven? How have we done a week of Vlogmas already? How is this possible? How do I still need a fringe trim? If you've been with me for uh, Vlogmas so far, oh hello, Buddy's with me for Vlogmas today. You coming up? There we go, Buddy's in with Vlogmas. He'll be going again, he's gone. No stay in power that dog. If you've been with me for Vlogmas so far, you will know that I am opening advent calendars and that I have four. One that is a charity calendar, two which I purchased myself and one that was sent to me by the very lovely Sharon Staley. And we always start with the charity one. So it's Advent of Change. Again, just in case you're, you are new here and you didn't know what this is, it is a calendar where every day you open a window and inside the window it tells you which charity has been helped or one of the charities that have been helped by the purchase of the calendar. Thank you to one of the viewers who left in the comments the other day that they've got the digital version and the charities are different behind there. So there are several versions available and it, they all help different charities. So I thought that was worth knowing. That was interesting. And I remember to turn the lights on. Winning at life. Today's charity is the Rainbow Trust. Glasses off for reading. And it says, Today you have helped to ensure that a support worker is available at any time of day or night to answer the call of a newly bereaved mother. I think that's that's immense. Like I said, all these charities that I that I didn't know existed that are doing such fantastic work. Um, and yeah, to have to have a support worker for, for people who've, who've just lost a child, I think that's I think that's a very worthwhile charity, and I'm delighted to have been able to help in a teeny tiny way. Lots of you are saying that you will um, have one of these next year, so that's that's another great boost. I'm really pleased to hear that. Um, you can get it from AdventOfChange. Dot com. I got mine from adventofchange.com. I just put it there, it's just above my finger. Adventofchange.com. But you can also buy them in John Lewis, I believe. Obviously, due to lockdown, I bought mine online. Lockdown is now lifted, but not before. Not in time. Anyway, on to number two. Let's do Bomb Cosmetics. Now, I've still got the dust. The dust is still in day number six. I should have shook that out, shouldn't I? I'll close day number six to keep the dust in. So, so if you weren't watching yesterday, um, day number six got smooshed in the post somehow. Day number seven is at the top here. Let's hope day number seven has survived a bit better. It is Lime and Dandy. Lime and Dandy soap. Step out with a Lime and Dandy soap designed to lift your spirits with its fresh scent of pure lime and lemongrass oils to refresh, enliven and uplift. I should use it on my boobs if it's going to uplift, shouldn't I? In we go. It's green, but I did kind of expect it to be when, it, when they said it was lime. I'd have been bemused if it was purple. There it is. Bear with. Let me just put that one down. It's a nice little kind of slab of homemade soap. Not ha handmade soap, not homemade. Oh, it's very fresh. It smells a bit like fresh for all cleaner. <laughs> it's very fresh and clean smelling. And you'll smell like you've just finished the kitchen. <laughs> I'm pleased with it. It's, it's quite a masculine one. I think that's the lime, isn't it? Lime and lemongrass kind of create quite a masculine scent. Have a sniff, tell me what you think. Smell. Limey. So there we go, that's the uh, that's the Lime and Dandy soap. And next up is the Harry Potter. Where is my Harry Potter bracelet? There it is. So here is my bracelet so far. Let's see what we've got under door number seven. Finding these like wildfire now. Anybody think I've been studying? I have not been studying. Door number seven is another house tie. So, learn your lesson, Carla. Hold the charm before you cut the string. Didn't get the scissors ready. Anybody seen a pattern emerging here? You'd think I'd get better, wouldn't you? As Vlogmas goes on, you'd think I'd get better. Instead, I don't seem to be improving at all. There we go, I've got that off. And today, oh, it's just... Oh no, it's not, it's, I'm gonna say it's gold tone charm, and it's the yellow. Now, somebody very kindly put in the comments the other day, which one each of them are, and I've blowed if I remembered. I don't know which, yellow is yellow Hufflepuff. Yellow might be Hufflepuff, I'm not sure. Honestly, I know nothing. Right, I'm desperately trying not to drop this because if I drop it, all the charms will fall off. So there's my bracelet. Make sure I put that on the right way round. And there are, six charms that I got because the bracelet was in day one and there are the six charms that I got so far including 
the newest one which is just here and like I said it's the yellow tie so I think that might be Hufflepuff I shall have to go back and check so one of you very kindly put the uh, the house colours into the into the vlog for me the other day into the into the into the vlog into the comments for me the other day there we go I think that's coming on really nicely I've got a feeling Natalie might nab it when it's finished I think she might but if she doesn't I don't know I don't know what to do with it but it, yeah I'm enjoying opening it anyway let me do this fasten that up there we go I think it's not bad I think for bear in mind this calendar was about 12 quid all in I think it's worth the money I'm impressed with this and then of course this beauty this is my handmade advent calendar from Sharon's Daily and it's had some wonderful gifts in it so far and I'm sure today will be no different so we're looking for day number seven aren't we Rummage, rummage, rummage. I found out day number eight, so we could do it tomorrow. There's seven. Oh, seven's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. There we go. Day number seven. Beautifully wrapped, as always. Oh, see, Sharon has done a, such a cracking job of this calendar. She has. It's, this is not just here is a box of stuff I will send. She has put so much thought into this. She sent me Slimming World Hi-Fi bar, so she obviously knows that I'm on my my new way of eating journey. <laughs> and she sent me Slimming World Hi-Fi bars. These are something like 70 odd calories each. They work out, I believe, to sell the back. 69, that was a good guess, wasn't it? 69 calories each and they're chocolate orange flavour. Thank you so much, Sharon. And the, the, the level of thought that you have put into this calendar is just blowing me away. It really is. So thank you, loving it, absolutely, da, ba, 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 ba. I'm loving it. If I could just steal McDonald's theme tune, write the theme tune, sing the theme tune, comments below if you know what that's from. Okay, I have got for you to finish today, I think you're a bit wonky by the way, sorry about that if you're wonky. To finish today I've got another funny Christmas poem, and a lot of your comments the other day implied that you thought I had written this I didn't write the poem and I haven't written this one either so listen carefully this one is by Claire Bevan and for anyone who ever took part in a school nativity as a child but did not get a starring role I think this will resonate with you I'm one of Herod's henchmen we don't have much to say we just charge through the audience in a henchman sort of way we all wear woolly helmets to hide our hair and ears and wellingtons sprayed silver to match our tinfoil spears our swords are made of cardboard so blood will not be spilled if we trip and stab a parent when the hall's completely filled we don't look very scary we're mostly small and shy and some of us wear glasses but we give the thing a try we whisper henchman noises while herod hunts for strangers and then we all charge out again like nervous power rangers yet when the play is over and miss is short of breath we'll all charge through the hall again and scare our mums to death anthony had to be a camel one year to add insult to injury, he had to be the back end of the camel. Just wandering along. Basically, the camel was made out of a brown, hairy kind of blanket. And then the front guy got to hold a head on the camel head on a pole. And the back guy, Anthony, just got to hold the waist of the chap in front. It wasn't a starring role. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for Vlogmas Day 7. Um, I've enjoyed it. I hope you have too. And I'll see you tomorrow for day eight. Take care. Bye-bye.